hello and welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to cover how we can fix 504 gateway timeout error this http 504 gateway timeout error is a status response code that is signaling a server failure during the processing of your request it's usually a sign that a computer is serving as a proxy or a gateway between you and the server you are accessing didn't respond in a timely fashion this is a common problem with high traffic servers that have to deal with a lot of visitors. Even if the culprit might seem clear, as with most HTTP response code, the exact cause will be hard to identify most of the time. Right from the get-go, you have to understand that a 504 gateway timeout error is not something that you can usually fix from the client side. As you probably know, 5xx number codes are status codes for server-side errors while 4xx are errors happening on the client side. However, there are instances where something in your configuration will trigger this HTTP status code. Remember that you can see the 504 error messages in a different ways. We are going to show you the most common variations of this 504 error. It's HTTP 504, 504 error, gateway timeout 504, gateway timeout error, 504 gateway timeout, HTTP error 504 gateway timeout. Keep in mind that webmasters often customize how error messages look. You might see this error wrapped inside graphical elements, not just plain text on a white background. You might encounter this error in any internet browser or any operating system and on any device. And by any device, we mean the devices which with internet access. Here is a sample image of what you can see if the error code or error page is customized for 504 gateway timeout error. If you encounter an HTTP 504 error, it's best to determine if others are having the same problem. This will save you from performing unnecessary troubleshooting steps when the issue is in fact server-side. You can do this by visiting the same URL from a different device and using a different internet connection bridge. For example, if you get the error message while visiting a website from your computer, switch to your Android or iOS device to mobile data and access the same link. If you're getting this error while trying to access a big site, it's worth looking on social media for announcements of maintenance cars or outage periods. Alternatively, you can use check out a status overview site like Down Detector or IIDRN. Most of the time, the error has nothing to do with your computer, but in some extreme cases, something in your network configuration might trigger this error message. In the event that you are currently dealing with this issue, there are a few things that you can try. First method is to reload the page. So let's say, so let's say you are trying to reach to our web page, our and you get 504 error what you can try is to press f5 a couple of times um, then if that doesn't work you can try control and f5 button or you can say control shift and r key to reload the web page and if you're browsing some sub directories of the website let's say you are visiting this article on our page what you can do is to reach to remove all the subdirectories from the link. Let's say we remove this title of the article and then try to land on the home page of the website and see if that works. If this doesn't work, you can try our second method and that is to perform a master restart. If one of your networking hardware is preventing the HTTP request from getting through in the specified time period, you might end up seeing a 504 error message. The title of this method is a little misleading, I'll give you that. But by restarting all your network components that are in your control, you can fix most of the problems that can happen on your side. Restart your computer, 
modem, router switch and any other network hardware that you use to facilitate the access to the internet in your house. Third method that we have is to remove the proxy server settings. If you use a proxy server, a VPN, to protect your internet activity, you might want to review your settings because your proxy might be responsible for the 504 message. Incorrect proxy settings are known to cause 504 errors, so make sure yours don't. Proxy servers will come and go, especially free ones. Even if the proxy server was working at the same point, it's possible that it's no longer available or is having technical issues. Without getting into specifics, the easiest way to determine if your proxy is at fault is to disable it and refresh the page. If the page is loading up fully without the proxy configuration, then you are in dire need of a new proxy server. Our fourth method is to flush out the DNS problems. When you go online, your ISP will automatically assign you a primary and secondary server. A 504 gateway timeout error could very well originate from your DNS settings. But keep in mind that if the site in question has recently migrated to a new host, it will take a while until it will propagate fully. However, the DNS issue could also be on the client side. To make sure that's not the case, you can flush your local DNS cache and see if the error message is gone. To flush your DNS cache, press Windows and R key and type CMD. Hit enter on the command prompt. What you need to write is ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter. If you get that this command requires elevation, just Press Start menu, search for CMD, and run the command prompt as administrator, and then run this command. Hopefully, it will be executed. Now, if you are using a Mac, open a command prompt terminal. Just to demonstrate, I'll open Notepad on my computer. So, if you are using a Mac, on a, open a command terminal and type sudo kill all space hyphen h u p space m dns responder and hit enter key it's equivalent to the command that we ran on windows so if none of the methods help you your best chance is to wait until the website operator or the isp fixes the issue at hand However, if your friends are able to access the very same website, you should contact your ICP and explain the problem concisely. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.